Okay, so what I have here is tape, and this kind of represents the hood, right? Underneath of the hood, roughly. Okay, so what I'm going to do is we're going to put the wastegate right about here. You know, obviously that's a little too close, so I'll just move it down to right about here. Um, there's going to be a little bit of a pipe stub on there, so it's actually going to be like right here. Um, it's definitely going to clear the inner fender by looking at the other side. And yeah, that's where the wastegate is going to go. So I made a mark on the housing on where, where we're going to put the, uh, the hole. Okay, so that's, that looks good right there. Okay, I got the turbo housing on the workbench here. I center punched it. We're going to punch a two inch hole right here. Do a pilot hole, then a hole saw. Use a lot of cutting fluid, go slow, and we'll see how it goes. There it is, went all the way through. Okay, so here's the housing. It is completely done, all welded and whatnot. So let me just discuss what happened. Uh, first of all, I used a hole saw on my workbench to punch the hole out. I wouldn't recommend doing that. The, the hole saw walked around, and I believe I went for a 2-inch hole, and it was like 2.1. Okay, so it was a really sloppy fit for uh, a 2-inch 1.9 OD pipe, which I planned on using. Well, I couldn't do that. So I had my cousin machine this custom piece, went which went inside the lip, and fit tighter into this hole just because I goofed okay so if you use a hole saw use a drill press or a mill okay you're gonna get a much more accurate hole size okay this stub here is just a uh, uh, steel as well and then this on here um, this here was welded I don't know which filler wire okay it was stainless to steel so I imagine it was 308 or 309 okay uh, but in any case to weld you know this assembly to the casting uh, we preheated the casting to three or four hundred degrees and then used a 99 percent nickel rod as filler okay and then after it was uh, done welding we threw it in a bucket of sand and buried it and the reason for that is to slow the cooling process as much as possible and that kind of relieves any stresses and cracking any potential for cracking so that's that's that and then uh, I vapor blasted it to get all the sand out and then I had to rinse it really well to get the media out and it has a little bit of a gold color because it's starting to rust a little bit but hey this thing is gonna rust no matter what so anyway let's slap this on the car and then uh, we'll see how the wastegate looks okay so the turbos back on the car I got the downpipe in there and in the meantime I ordered uh, a 175 1.75 inch flex okay I'm gonna put a flex on here but basically I have this 45 degree tube here and what I want to do is recirculate the wastegate exhaust right back into the down tube so it's gonna go something like this obviously I'm gonna shorten this guy up as much as possible and have it dump into the straight section here but I probably will put the flex right off of here this guy will go into here and I'm gonna have a lot of fun coping this pipe to here but I do have a I think I have a solution for that. So um, what I'm going to do is 3D print uh, a coping tool, <laughs> and we'll see how that works. So that'll be in the next video. 
Uh, but yeah, that's that's the goal here. We'll put a flex right in here and just dump it right back into the downpipe. Um, but this all looks good. It is not higher than this. It's gonna clear the hood. Um, I can put the fittings for the wastegate on the bottom. It's gonna clear the inner fender. Um, that is the cleanest way to do it from the setup, okay? So I know a couple of you guys have asked, can I put a wastegate somewhere else? Um, well, the bosses on the turbo log uh, don't make sense for this application. And someone mentioned, hey, put it in the crossover. Well, that only takes care of four banks. So um, yeah, this is, this is what's gonna work for this application. All right, guys, well, that's it for this video, short and sweet. In the next video, we will uh, fix this.